Welcome back to Good Morning La, La Land. It's an honor to welcome Demeter Marinoff to the show, representing this season's top pick for best feature film at the Oscars. What? Wow. Amazing. 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 Mm -hmm. Amazing. Congratulations. Congratulations. So, so not only honor. has this been an incredible season for you, but I mean, it kicked off in Toronto winning best film at TIFF, right? When it was just that small of a movie and nobody cared for it. <laughs> so, wow, yeah, wow. well, we, in a sense, we had no advertisement at all. We arrived in Toronto and I'm looking around, where's our poster or something? No. Wow. wow. Tell us a little bit about the film, just for anybody that's watching that has not heard of it or hasn't watched it yet. Well, it's a, it's a I think, this is the first script I read and I cried. Mm -hmm. It's the hope. This is a movie of hope. It's a movie of unity. It's a movie of reaching across. It's a movie of listening, but not only listening, hearing what we say. And to absolute opposites in the most crucial and horrible circumstances just mm -hmm. come together and they're stuck in the car and they're talking. Mm -hmm. So this is what, to me, happened for real in 1962. And it's not happening now. And this is what bothers me in a way. But I think the film overall is a film of hope. And it's one of those movies that ends in a good, positive note, which we need so much today. Oh. I mean, mm -hmm. Absolutely. Literally. So true. That's how so I true. feel about mm -hmm. it. So you actually knew the person you're portraying in the film. Yes. Life, right? The real character is Yuri Takht, pretty well-known cello player from the former Soviet Union, grew up in the Stalin and Khrushchev times. And that's how they met with Don Shirley in Leningrad, in the conservatory. And I lived this life. I'm from former communist country, Bulgaria, myself. And I'm classically trained violinist as well. So he was really close to me as mentality and way of thinking and way of behaving and all that. We classical musicians, we're a little boring. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think boring. In our own way. Yes, yes. But yes, and I knew in a way so much of him, but I didn't know how in the story they wanted to be portrayed. Yeah. And Peter was extraordinary. I mean, his magic of directing is very simple. Show me. Mm. Let me see that freedom mm -hmm. to propose, to play, to have a good time. And with me was only one note. Don't take your eyes off Vigo, period. Mm. Mm. And follow the mission. Just do your thing. All right. <laughs> <laughs> basically started from there and wow. that's all turned into this moment of I got this real deep sense of responsibility okay mm. it's in my hands now I have to really pay attention listen carefully what they talk how they talk how they place themselves mm. so I want to make sure I am part of what I have to be part of mm. not what I want to be part of do you feel that your classical music training prepared you perfectly not only to play this role but to be able to listen and respond in effective ways in scenes? Absolutely. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I suggest to young people, and not only parents especially, you want your child to be an actor. There are two things for actor that I personally think is most important, responsibility and discipline. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when oh. you're in classical music yes. or classical dance, this is what you learn first. There is no mistake to be made. If I say the wrong sentence nobody really will pay attention but if i sing flat everybody hear it yeah. if i miss a step everybody hear it if i play a tune not the right way everybody hear it so you have this training of consistency discipline and most important responsibility it's such mm -hmm. an important part and even as a doctor divinity teaching spirituality we, we really teach harmony that's the point. And exactly. if you're not in harmony, it's going against the whole grain of life. And, and we do have a responsibility ethically to harmonize as the oneness that we are in that unity and bringing hope. What do you see in the world? How does this represent? How, can, how would you, you know, in your training and, and in this movie and all that you've learned, because obviously you're a very evolved human being, how do you think we can shift our culture to be more in harmony? Balance. We, we're losing the, the balance. I mean, I grew up in communist country where things were said, done, and you, you don't even have to think. Mm. It's, this is the way it is. Mm. And I dream to come to America where everyone has the opportunity to do whatever he wants, mm. whatever she wants, whoever. And the opportunity people, I think, take it in the wrong way. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's an opportunity to 
go get what you would like to get. It doesn't mean you're entitled to it. Mm. And that's what throws off the balance. Mm -hmm. You have to know where you stand at this moment. You want to go further? You want to do more? Well, work for it. Mm -hmm. You know, go do your thing. You know, and, and don't be afraid to say it out loud, but not being emotional about it. And this is what Green Book brought into, I love about the balance between the two. Mm -hmm. You can tell when they get angry. Mm -hmm. You can see why they get really, you know, my way. But at the same time, there is this insight. And that's where my character was. I cannot get angry with a guy who has fifth grade education. Mm -hmm. I cannot get angry with the people who treat Don Shirley in a certain way. Do I get, yeah, I do get angry, but if I show it, is this gonna change? Mm -hmm. No. I have to find a way, and we need to find a way to listen, and even when we're angry, just say it. You know what, what are you saying right now? I'm very angry, but why I'm angry? And let's talk about that. Mm -hmm. So we can balance the emotions with reasoning. Because mm -hmm. everyone, I mean, even the most opposites, have something mm -hmm. to say and learn from. It's Definitely. such a remarkable point you make because it is about self-awareness, right? Absolutely. And uh, if you're constantly distracted by what's happening out here and you're not noticing what's happening in here, or you're not, you're so distracted, you're not noticing what's happening in the context of that conversation, that relationship, that scene, you very quickly lose focus and you're not able to respond and be responsible. Yeah, you become a flow. Mm -hmm. I mean, literally, you're jumping from news to news, mm -hmm. from what's happening, what's happening, and you become a flow. Mm -hmm. And where are you? What are you doing? Yeah. Okay, you don't like this, what are you doing about it? Oh, I just heard it, I'm gonna say I don't like it, and move on, why? Yeah. Get into the problem, see how you can solve it, what you have to solve it, or you don't have anything to solve it, mm -hmm. so take it as it is, and move to where you can really do it. So you're gonna go to po in politics now? <laughs> Actually, I was never interested in politics because I didn't know what politics is. You know, in communist country, you don't have yeah, politics. Right, right. You have this is it. Yeah. This is it. There's right. only two ways to decide. And we didn't have clue. And when I came here and people start talking, the only reason I listen to politics is to understand why people talk about something they don't even know what they talk it, about. I mean, honestly, it's so true. You I say out of it because I'm not educated enough in that arena. I'm like, I have no idea. Yeah. I don't, like, it's yeah. always the same. I think we probably share that we're probably not as nearly excited about politics as we are what you're up to next. So what would you say yeah. you are most looking forward to, personally, professionally? My biggest passion is to pass on my experience, not only personal and professional. I love to work with students, and especially kids, mm -hmm. to give them that understanding that if I can make it, they can make it. Yeah. I mean, if I can come to America at age of 25 with no money, no language, no friends, no relatives, mm -hmm. only 28 years ago, and here I am today all by myself, and I m went through, why not you? Right. And it's, yeah. this is what I really looking forward right. to. And of course, film, television, acting, my career, that's wonderful. Yeah. But you know what? The biggest thing is, hope. pass it on, mm -hmm. give it back. Sounds like you're giving I, a lot of people hope. I, so that's thank you for goal. that. Thank you so much. We have a so lot much. of hope for you in Green Book this weekend. We look forward to celebrating. I it. hope so mm -hmm. too. Thank you so, <laughs> so much, much for having me. Tell everyone nice. where they can continue to find and follow you personally. Yes, I'm not a millennium at all, <laughs> I, but I do have Instagram, which is the funny yeah. Instagram. <laughs> at Demeter underscore D underscore Marinoff. Yes. And of course, I'm on Facebook. Oh, thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Congratulations. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more in Good Morning Wildland.